Hello, this is IT Solution Trust. In this video, I want to share with you how to, you know, how to configure OSBF on Palo Alto Network Firewall. So, as you see, I have router one and have router two. So this router, I enabled OSBF process. So, but I'm asking you if we do this one, uh, the configure OSBF process, router one and then router two. Do you think they can make, uh, they can make the neighborship? without configuring the power alter network firewall yes or no by the way uh, that does not work uh, it's not gonna work so we have to configure the uh, OSBF instead of the Palo Alto network firewall and let me show you before I show you how to configure let me let me see if we can ping that one so let me see my uh, CRT and as you see I'm locked in right now in router 1 so let me ping uh, router 2, so that is being uh, 20, that 2, that 1, that 2, and see if we can bring. So now we can bring it uh, from router 1 to router 2. What about the other side? And uh, so let us see the other side. So we're gonna log in the router 2 and bring this uh, ping protocol. So ping 192, uh, 192.168.4.2. Yes, so I um, mean. Um, so that's not gonna work. So, being uh, 192, 168, um, 4.2. Okay, now we're gonna have a connection both of them. So, let me show you how it's con configured. So, even though we have that connection, it is not gonna work because we con we're gonna configure the OSB inside the firewall. So, how to do that one? You go to the network tab and then come here on the left side virtual router and I, as you see the virtual router we have one you can have many of them but I have only one so you click that one and when you click uh, you see uh, on the router settings you give the name here any name you want and add these two and, and how many interface you wanted to participate OSPF because I have only one uh, the one for outside and the inside network and that is the one slash three and Ethernet one slash four. And then we go to OSBF. And when you come to OSBF, uh, you see I have only uh, area zero, zero and we have the range, this IP address and the interfaces and how you add that one. So you go to the um, area and then you add, when you add this one, you see the area, you name that one. Also, we're gonna add the range you wanted to at uh, that moment but we don't uh on the interface too and then it is gonna allow you that one so let me show you how to add that so that's how it's gonna work and that's it. so whatever you wanted to add press this one and then you give the you enter interface you wanted to add and i mean the range you wanted to add and the, here is the interfaces so if you scroll down here you see uh that one on left side and right side you see the information timing information all of this stuff and that's how also you want to need to enable OSBF in this checkbox and they give the router um, ID so that it can know the ID number so that you can give any uh, ID number that you money would have created or it is the one for the ID address so that's how you create if you so and my question to you, do you think it now, since we configured OSBF2 routers and the, uh, the Palo Alto, they can make the agency or they can communicate? What do you think? They can make the uh, this uh, neighborship, but the traffic will not go from one uh, network to another network because there is a one more thing we're going to do, and that's the policy. So if you go to our policy tab, we see the here. I, I have this policy, the blue one, and if if you click that one, uh, we see I have this uh, into out. So the source I have in, and the destination uh, we should have the same in and out. That means the inside uh, network we have the inside from the traffic from inside to outside, and that's what we have. And the destination, the network outside network, we have the outside. Uh, travel from there to inside and that's what does it mean into out so it has to be uh, both way like a two-way traffic 
with uh, only one way it's not gonna work because the network uh, other network will not able to communicate the other one so we have to make the tra this traffic in two ways and that's how you configure and I will tell you another video in deeply how to configure our SPF much uh, a lot so we will see next video uh, hopefully you have seen how to configure our SPF and you can go through the, um, uh, the process and you can do the same so I will see you next video thank you so much